Hi there. My name is Ron Rogers. I'm a pilot and I'm going to tell you why a biplane, especially the Great Lakes biplane, is so much more safer than single wing airplanes. We'll call those one wingers. First of all, let's look at it. Okay, see that? It's obvious. It has two wings. The single wingers only have one wing, but this has two. It's got a top wing and it's got a bottom wing. Well, it's an obvious safety feature. If anything goes wrong with the bottom wing, you got the top wing. If anything goes wrong with the top wing, you got the bottom wing. What could be more safe than that? Now let's talk about some other things. It has flying wires. Well, you're going to fly, so you want flying wires. These are the flying wires, and there's an extra set here. We got four flying wires, and that's on each wing. And then we got landing wires. Well, we don't have as many landing wires because you do a lot more flying than you do landing. But you look at this airplane. It was certified in 1929, back when they didn't know all the things that could go wrong in aviation. So obviously it's a lot safer design. It doesn't have any artificial stall warning. You don't have that little horn that beeps and is so distracting. This aircraft, when it stalls, you get a little bit of buffet and then it stalls much much simpler and we have a few pilots who fly around in uh, the traffic pattern here and they're gaining cross-country time obviously because their patterns are so far out in the distance that they have to have GPS to even know where the runway is so when they're flying around logging all that cross-country time in the traffic pattern while other people are trying to land they're on base okay they're sitting there they're texting, they're checking uh, Tinder, they're swiping left, they're swiping right. You don't want those horns going off that are so distracting. You know, you don't have that in this airplane. Of course, this airplane, if you fly this airplane right, you fly it like a biplane should be flown, which is a nice tight pattern. And I can typically, typically get five landings in the time they get one pattern in, but you know, not, not to digress or complain too much, they're, they are logging cross country time. Now, Let's talk about a few aspects of this. You see how clean the wing is. You know, you get modern aircraft, and of course, maybe it has something to do with the lawyers, but you get all these little things like no step. Well, you don't see this on anywhere. You don't see this anywhere on the airplane. You can step anywhere you want. And see, like, look at this. You know, wing walkers. Do you ever see a wing walker on one of those one-wing airplanes? No, you don't. But look, these guys are actually playing tennis. And you can walk all over these. You know, you go to an air show, you don't have any wing walkers on just your normal airplanes, your single wingers. You only have them on the biplanes. And this, this is the most stupid sticker on any airplane. No lift. What do you mean no lift? You want lift out of the airplane. It's not going to fly if it doesn't have lift. And i got plenty of wings here, so you're getting plenty of lift. Well, that's stupid. Now, one they should put on is please do not bend because you probably heard about people bending airplanes that's a bad thing you don't want to bend them so you and it's very kind here see these are just no lift no step but this says please do not bend and biplanes have so much solid structure this is a strut and for some reason they call it an end strut and another safety factor there's an aileron okay and but look at this there's another aileron you've got two wait it's over here there it is that's just part of the inboard wing there here it is there's the other aileron and that aileron you got two ailerons each side you don't have that in your single wingers so that's another added safety factor and just look at how clean it is let's go back here look at these more wires to keep everything together and this is what we have. Oh, this is, this is a tow bar. You remove that before you fly. Too much drag. And, you know, some of these things have drag wires and anti-drag wires. Now, I started out in nuclear physics, and I don't think you would want to touch those two wires together. Something bad could happen. But here's an elevator. Now, this, this is very useful with the house reference. See, if you pull this back like this with the stick, and that's part of the whole thing, stick and rudder. There's the rudder. But you pull it back, the houses get smaller. If you hold it back too long, the houses get smaller, then they get bigger. But of course, if you want to avoid all that, you just push it forward and the houses get bigger right away. 
This is a rudder. There are a lot of pilots, I'm told, who not really are quite sure of what that does. But let's move around the aircraft and look at this. You got a whole other side over here. You've got this is a you got the N number, so if you do anything bad, the FAA knows who you are, and it's got to be in big letters because they don't always see the best. And 727, that's one of my favorite airplanes. 777 is another one. KR is my wife's initials. You always want the wife to buy in on airplanes, you know, so they, they support you on that. And let's look at the cockpit here. There's the front cockpit. And look at those nice little gauges in there. And, of course, there's the stick. That's what you move around. Back cockpit, you know, I'm much more experienced pilot. I don't, I don't need all those gauges. So mines are smaller, and a lot of these are actually blank. Now, you may wonder, well, this is strange. The, the passenger sits in the front and the pilot sits in the back? Well, that's another safety enhancement because the passenger is much closer to the scene of the accident than the pilot. You as the pilot are much farther away, so that's obviously much safer. Now, one thing I like to do is when I'm doing my walk around to instill confidence in the passengers is to wear a parachute. That shows them that if anything goes wrong, you are willing to go and get help. And what I also do, it's also a money enhancement thing. I'm wearing the parachute and they might say, well, do I get a parachute? And I go, you want a parachute? You can either buy or you can rent. So that gives them two choices there. And, you know, if, if they want the extra factor of being able to go with me and get help, that's fine. So we look around here and, of course, we have, this is a fuel drain. We got a couple of these things and fuel is very expensive so I don't think you'd want to drain it. Uh, I, I would leave it in the tank. And here's another thing. We have wheel pants. This is a respectable airport. You don't want naked wheels anywhere, anywhere around. And this is the strut on the Great Lakes. And see there's this big strut in here. It's kind of hidden. That's a shock absorber. And boy do I need that. Some of my landings if I were doing those in a Zatabra, I'd be bouncing 10 feet high. But this thing, you can come in and kind of plant it, and you do all right. Now, hey, another safety factor. Look at this. Two propellers. Propeller here. Propeller here. And you might be saying, what are these holes for? Well, that's pretty obvious. These holes are for birds. Birds can go in there, and they come out here, this other hole. Now, this, this, this is... For smaller birds like sparrows, see it's a much smaller hole. Now, see this is the this is the cowling, and on some aircraft this whole thing would open up. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want to see everything in there because there's a lot of things most pilots don't understand, and it, it's never good to see too much. But let's talk about what you can see, and this is nice. See, you can't really see a whole lot. This is, this is for oil and it's caution, which I think means caution, make sure there's oil in there. So I, I, that's fine, don't touch that. And, and this is a red knob. Uh, I think it has something to do with the fuel. And you know what they say about red knobs, don't, don't touch them. So I, I, think it's, I think it's best if you don't touch that. Oh, and this device here, this is for the inverted oil system. That's what you call if you fly, if you fly upside down. That's called inverted. And this will last a lot longer than my butt will last inverted. So that's a good thing. And then we just close these up. Look at two little snaps here, and we're good. All righty. Now, what did I miss? Oh, always check to make sure the wing has a bottom. It's got a bottom here. Ah, it's got a bottom there. Okay, that's good. Oh, and here's another one of those fuel things. I would, I would, I would leave that alone. You don't, you don't want any trouble for that. More struts. Look at these. I mean, there's just struts everywhere. That's wonderful. And, oh, oh, let's see what. What did I forget here? Oh, the fuel cap. See, oh, I put it up here. Maybe you can see it. There's a fuel cap up there. Well, that's good because it's really high. People can't come up and steal fuel. It's much harder because, first of all, they go, well, I can't. You know, most, most of the one-wingers have a fuel thing down here. And you can see it, and you can come up with your little siphon hose. See, there's a siphon hose right over there, if you wanted it. You can come up with that. And, oh, it's always good to keep a, a music conductor in your hangar. Um, there's a siphon hose, but you got to get way up there. And they do give you a step, but they don't really tell about it. And that you, Of course, you wouldn't put no step here, because that's a step. You want to step on it. Okay, so um, that's all well and good there. And, of course, in a hangar, 
you want it to be nice and comfortable. You want to have chairs. You want to have drinks and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, you want, to, you want to have neat things here. Now, let me tell you, I've been flying so long that I have this Wright Brothers thing, which uh, uh, Wright Brothers Master Pilot War. And look, it's actually signed by Orville and Wilbur Wright. I mean, that is pretty impressive. And this, this means I was flying way in the early days of aviation. And uh, it, it also means that I kept under the radar of the FAA for almost 50 years. Of course, now they have look down radar, so that's not as good. Uh, this is a picture of an airplane with a big engine and no wings. This this actually had a lot of um, uh, a lot of engines uh, attached to it, but it needed external fuel tank, and uh, that that's glider. That's if you like glider flying. And then it's always good to have a picture of your airplane, even though you have the airplane. It's good to have a picture of the airplane just so you know what your airplane looks like. And this, okay, there are inspection covers on here. They're on the bottom, hard to get to, but this is what the wing looks like on the inside. So you really should have no reason to ever go and look at the inspection covers because you already know what it looks like and that's that's for the mechanics that you pay all sorts of money for they they look it over every once in a while just to make everything's right and then i want i, I want to i want to show you some of the aspects uh of the single engine airplane and why it's it, why it's not as safe I'll, I'll take you and show you my single engine airplane all right here we have a single winger aircraft and you can see right away it's much more dangerous aircraft only one wing and you have these big engine cowls that you can open so you can come here and you can see all sorts of stuff like like look at this I mean I, I can't even close this with this in here should this be here I don't is that part of an aviation thing I don't know and look at all these things wires hoses stuff you have no idea what it does and I'm looking in here and I go, wait a minute, I'm missing stuff. There's, there's, there's no vacuum pump. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I did have a little problem with this. See, the more stuff you have, like look at this, a fire bottle, you know, to put out fires and stuff. I actually had to use one of those on a 421 with an engine fire. Uh, didn't do a damn thing. Um, well, that's another story. But anyway, look at that. Well, we have boots and you know what this is? That means it entices you to think you can fly in icing. Never a good idea. But there is one nice thing about this. It has six fuel tanks. It's got a fuel tank here. It's got a fuel tank here. And it's got a fuel tank there. And you can put more fuel on this aircraft than you know what to do with. So that's good. But, you know, six tanks, three on each side. You want to make sure that you fill both sides. Okay, that's a, that's a very important thing because that that's a, that's a bad mistake. But look at this. I've even got one extra propeller, so I've got one, two, three, and wow, it's not in the center. Well, I'm sure a lot of you people are going, "Hey, something's wrong here. That should be in the nose." Well, no, it's balanced. See, this is the nose, no propeller. You go over here to the other side, and look, there's another one over here. And look at, you can see all this stuff in this one too. And that's just scary because these are a lot of wires. I mean, what is this, what does this wire right here go to? I have no idea what this wire goes to. And well, that, I think that's an oil filter. Yeah, and there's writing on it. So maybe that's a good thing. Um, and that's, it says oil. So, so that's important. Oil is very important. And those are the tanks on the other side. Now, when, and I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a video on this later on, on proper, uh, pilot um, proper pilot hero walls and I've, I've got my my hero walls at home but here we, we you, it's always good to have extra hero walls so you get a drawer full of patches and stickers and stuff so what do you do you just put it look at that nice bright light there you can't see a thing so you put it up on the wall there and you got some old uh, you got some old posters up there of, of uh, things you liked when you were a kid and then of course here's here's the big danger is junk will fill whatever space you have for it to fill and this is a 50 by 50 foot hanger and i have more junk in here than i know what to do with and my kids will be cursing me after i die because they'll go what are we going to do with all this junk but anyway that is the safety difference between a one winger and a two winger explained and i hope this is very informative for you thank you for watching